Hello guys, the second topic is about ARIMA forecasting model. ARIMA is an abbreviation for autoregressive AA Integrated Moving Average or MA. There are three components of ARIMA, namely P, D, and Q. Let us discuss this one by one to complete your assignment well. Again, please do not worry too much about the mathematics. I would like you to focus on the logic behind it, because all the mathematics will be cal calculated automatically by the SPSS software. However, you need to put mathematics in your assignment to present more professional reports. This assignment can be applied to forecast many applications, depending on your company. There are several examples, you can forecast stock market analysis, sales forecasting, predicting the number of train, passengers, forecasting COVID-19 patients, etc. Many, depending on your work. The first one is P. P means here the number of preceding lock value. In auto regressive or AR, they have to be subtracted from Y to make better prediction of the data. For example, which lock values are better? Auto regressive one, the function YT, beta 0, beta 1, YT minus 1, or auto regressive 2, YT equal beta 0, beta 1, YT minus 1, plus beta 2, YT minus 2. For other other regressive models, you need to test all the above models using SPSS and compare the statistic or diagnostic test. For example, you can compare the mean average prediction error, MIPE or R squares, or others to access the performance of model. Model 1, 2, 3, which one is stronger? So, to work from AR2, you need to follow the following command. Click Analyze, Forecasting, Create, Traditional Models, then click OK. To ask SPSS to implement Auto Regressive 2, following the above commands, you need to click Variable, Arima, and Criteria, and type 2 in the column Auto Regressive. To perform regressive model, you need to put the patient as the dependent variable there and dragging on the right hand side and click OK. Then if you, you need to click save, then tick predicted values, lower confidence limits, and upper confidence limit. For example, to focus on the period of 40 or 41, you click option, then type 40 or 41 there, then click OK. So you can see the forecasting result. If you see the red line, in the data is the value, when blue line is the forecasted value. Then you need to click the data again to see the forecasted value. You need to write down again the diagnostic statistics such as R square, main you know, average prediction error of ARIMA model 1, and to compare with other ARIMA model. <coughs> Which model are more? superior the model you choose to forecast your assignment one. So the process can be applied to other ARIMA models. For pedagogic illustration, I include the data. Which one is better? Why like one period or why like two period in table one kilo? Remember, when you introduce a lock period, lock value, you lose one observation. Two period, you lose another two observation. There is a cost for lagging data. 
For example, when you press lighting, why to to lock value? You only have 29 observation. See table one. Why lock one period and lock two periods? The next one is D. D is the difference operation, which can be a first difference or second difference. You can read a delta. A first difference is given by absolute difference y1 and lock one period. The absolute value of their differences in table two, see table two. So you can do also second differences and third differences to get more stable data. More stable because the means are more similar. For example, 9, 9, 14, 14, 2, 2, and 1, 1. So you have to test first with first difference. If not stable, you need to go to the second difference. By removing changing in the level of time series, the actual level, and to eliminate trend and seasonality. This is the purpose of the trending. First difference, second difference, or third difference. For example, if you see the ice cream, there is seasonality. Summer, very busy. And another products, maybe they are busy at the end of the year, Christmas. So if you look at the data sequence, 0, 8, 22, 42, 68. You take first difference, 8, 4, 20, 26. Second difference, 6, 6, 6. That's unique in forecasting. That's unique, stable. In this example, the second difference will be perfect for forecasting purposes. Because we have 6, 6, 6, so we can predict successfully the next period. It will be equal 6 again, the difference. See? So the last one, Q, means moving average. The moving average method is intended to smooth variation, to smooth the short term and seasonal fluctuation. Moving average is also known as lagging indicator to predict the potential direction of time series, whether up and down. So moving average is required to remove the autocorrelation. To calculate Q, we can use the auto correlation function plot. For example, if after lag 2 is not significant, we can say the Q is 2. We take 2 days moving average or 2 months moving average or 2 years moving average in the data. This is calculated as whether 2 days, 3 days or 4 days divided by average. So the longer the moving average, the less fluctuate the series. So, as indicated in the figure below, the blue line is the data, while the red line is three days moving average, calculated as 534 plus 530 plus 522 divided by 3 equals 529. The gray line is seven days moving average. So if you look at this compare, the gray line and the red line, the longer the moving average, the less fluctuate the series. So remember to summarize Arima, three components, P, D, and Q. You need to try that using especially simple you need to compare the performance. Look at the R squares. Look at the mean prediction error. Look at the root mean square error, etc. And then you can make decision. For example, comparing trend forecasting, ARIMA forecasting, and exponential forecasting, the ARIMA forecasting better. So you'll be using this to forecast in your assignment. I'll see you next session to explain about exponential smoothing. See you guys.